How to animate Spider-Man, timing and key poses. By the end of this video, you'll block out the key poses of Spider-Man swinging. You're going to start by Windows, Animation, Graph Editor, and I refer setting it to a hotkey. If you set a key directly on the locator, it will cancel out the constraint. Go back to your locator, double click motion path, and copy the text. Control C. Then go up here to the menu input line operations, select, and go to select by name. Then paste text and hit enter. Now you have the constraint selected. Go down to your Animbot toolbar and click selection sets. Then choose whatever color. Now you have a button where you can select the constraint and you can key directly onto it. Now select your constraint and this is where we start the animation process. Go through and set a key, two keys for the bottom of the arc, one here, one here, two keys for the top of the arc, one here, one here, and then the bottom again. Set a key here to define where he left off swinging and ended. And then also set a key here because this is the top of the arc as well. Now check out the link in the description for a compilation of Spider-Man swinging to understand the timing of the swings. A swing is a pendulum action, being fastest in the bottom of the arc, then it has the hang time at the top of the arc up here. If you go up here to this icon, you can click on region tool, select or move keys. You can delete these values for now. Then select the part of the animation you want to make faster. So you can start adjusting your keys accordingly. When you watch your reference, you can count how many seconds the hang time versus the swing time takes. Then keep in mind, a second is 24 frames. If it's a smaller, tighter swing, then the whipping action would be faster. Using this tool does result in being on partial frames, like this one right here. How you can fix that is select your curve, go down to your Animbot toolbar, and then uh, click Smart Snap Keys. This will snap your keys without adjusting the timing of your animation. At the bottom of the arc here, you can add one more key, delete these extra values. Now you can create more of a big gap which is the part of the animation where he'll have the most momentum. If at some point your locator loses its rotation, select it, and if there is green values here, then that means at some point you accidentally set a key. So go to your rotations and delete that key. Another thing to keep in mind is after the hang time, the fastest moment is the beginning of that whip. The speed slows down and then speeds up fast, slow, fast. Now with the path selected, go down to your Animbot toolbar and press Share Keys Timeline. Now go through each frame, go to Front Twist, and adjust the curve till his body matches the angle of the arc. When you get to the part where he's transitioning from swing to swing, it doesn't have to exactly match the angle of the arc. You should be straightening out a little bit here, but not all the way. Now start to favor the other side slightly. Let's get a better contrast on the character. Now with the curves and locators turned off, you're left with this. Now you're ready to put in the key poses for his body swinging. So look at some comic books and some clips of Spider-Man movies to get some inspiration for some key poses. This is the first key pose of him at the top of the arc. And here's a swinging key pose. When Spider-Man's at the top of the arc, you'll see key poses with his body more compressed. And when he's at the bottom of the arc, he's more stretched out, reacting to the momentum of the swing. At the top of the arc, you can do many things like back flips, front flips. But here, I just went for the classic throwing the web in between his legs that we see from the comic books and movies. And here he's anticipating the web shooting action. Here's the classic shooting web pose. And here you see his body gets stretched out when the web becomes taut. Here's the bottom of the arc swinging pose. With his legs dragging behind. This pose he's starting to pull his legs up to throw himself into the top of the arc again. And in motion it looks like this. 
If this helped, please like, sub, and share, and dislike and comment if it didn't work or wasn't clear, and I'll fix it for you. Next video, we'll be going over how to shoot Spider-Man's webs using Animbot's temp controls, grab and release space.